I woke up this morning, I saw the news or a headline or, or whatever, an article that there that the Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition got announced. That's the trailer we're going to react to. I literally thought that there was a Nintendo Direct that I was unaware of. And so I spent like the first couple of minutes of my morning in front of the computer or in front of my phone looking for the Nintendo Direct that I missed. It turns out it was just a, a single trailer drop. I'm actually shocked that a game of a series that to me is pretty big for a Nintendo RPG it was just single-handedly dropped. It might get mentioned in a Nintendo Direct down the line, but this is actually big. This is... Xenoblade Chronicles X is a spin-off of the Xenoblade Chronicles series, and it is the game I put in the most hours, hands down, bar none, on my Wii U. I don't even know if it's a port. I, we're we're going to find out if the graphics got enhanced or if it's a remake. I did hear that there's going to be a little bit more content in the game, which bothers me, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and watch this. Let's see how it is. Also, let me know how the volume is. Here we go, Monolith Soft. Graphics look about the same as the Wii U. Oh, Elma! Oh, it's been so long. Also, the music oh, is actually hitting me with a little bit of nostalgia. Well, here we are. Not too shabby, huh? Welcome to New Los Angeles. A giant beach spaceship, anyway. But, like it or not, this place is our home now. Okay. This is more of a port. A Graphically, I think it's more of a port. On Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Yeah, there we go. New Los Welcome Angeles. To NLA. Heck yeah. And so it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira, come what may. Oh, this makes me want to go back to my Wii U and play the game a little bit. Oh, man. Um, it's futuristically holstered. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Well, not all the guns, though. Truth is, it's not Transformers. No, it's not. This is a game I put in over 500 hours into when it came out on the Wii U in 2015 or 2016. Swallowed in a shroud of light. I put in so much hours into this. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the guns are like that. Just because it's a, a Wii U game, it's a fairly old game, so, you know, the graphic ca capabilities of the Wii U wasn't, you know, the best. Oh? Why are they spoiling this? Fancy seeing you here. Wait. That... That... March? March 20th, 20, 20, 2025? Okay, let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down ever so slightly. So... Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know what this game is because it came out on the Wii U and only like five people own a Wii U, myself included. <laughs> um, so this is a spin-off of the Xenoblade Chronicles series. It's a game that came out on the Wii U in, I believe, 2015? If memory serves me correctly, maybe it was first announced in 2015 it released a little bit later. I might be getting my, my years a little bit confused. Uh, but basically, this was... This game is basically an MMO without being an MMO. The style and the feel of it is an MMO, but it's a single player game. It does have some multiplayer action. Like, you, you could do some multiplayer missions and fight, like, big monsters um, that way. Um, and the other MMO aspects to this game is that the character that you see here, the ginger guy, you can completely change him. Customizable design. You can play as a guy or a girl. If I remember correctly, there was a mission or a quest you could do and then you can gender swap pretty much at will. You can even change your skin color, hair color, hairstyles, clothing. And one thing that's good about Xenoblade that they still do is that, um, the armor that you see in game is not necessarily the armor you have equipped. You there's like kind of two slots that you can choose if you want to. Um, so you can kind of have a matchy look versus a um, versus um, 
equipping stuff for for this stat specifically and you basically do want to fight monsters and get new armor because armor have different substats so you're kind of there's lots of grinding in that aspect among side levels and all that um and that's just the character alone and if we move on to the trailer okay we, we can go here you can see us driving so there is also mechs in the game that you unlock a couple chapters into the game. It actually comes from kind of late because of the amount of grinding you had to do on the Wii U version. So there's that. But they also transform into like fighting mechs that can fly around the world. And this is a fairly big map, at least for for the Wii U. This was a pretty big map. But just, just realize that this game came out before Breath of the Wild in terms of size of the map. So it was pretty big for back in the day. And as you can see, there are monsters that are way bigger than you and very common for a Xenoblade. Except this one, as you can see, has guns. It also has melee weapons. And one cool thing, they don't really show it in this trailer, is that your character can will switch depending on what... There's different classes in the characters, but each class has a melee weapon and a ranged weapon of some kind, which is pretty unique for for the game it makes things a little bit more fine and more versatile and a little bit more quick fa uh, a little bit more fast in in terms of the action and gameplay for combat and all that stuff um what else can i say about this game i mean i enjoyed it i put 500 hours i thought the story is pretty good there's still no pawns as you would see from the xenoblade you see it over there um and another thing is that um you kind of have your own party and a party the amount of character you can swap out the party and the cast of characters that are playable is actually quite large compared to um other xenoblade chronicles games i don't remember how many characters but i did have a few there's the main story ones and then there's side ones that you can recruit by doing um certain missions and certain quests but the big thing here is this end part oh yeah i guess for the uh costume customizations you can have them topless if you so choose um or having them just wear underwear, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Including swimwear if you if you care for that sort of stuff. And there are definitely some outfits that uh, showed a, a decent amount of skin. Some of it got censored in the American version because some of the characters are uh, on the yo younger side of things. Um, but it also looks like, just based off of this, which is kind of spoilers for the end, this guy in the hood is new. So they're changing the ending. And this is like an issue for me ever so slightly because because I put 500 hours into this already, I kind of don't want to purchase the game and play through it again. But if they're changing the ending and if they continue the story in the definitive edition or maybe then I have to because I want to know what the story is. I kind of hoped it's like DLC and you can kind of just do buy that separately and just do that separately instead of buying like the full game because the main story will take... Uh, depending on if they keep the amount of grinding you need to do, it was 60 to 80 hours to finish the main to finish the main story, if not more, if you do exploration. And let's not even talk about the post game, but yeah, this is really big. This is the this is the last Xenoblade Chronicles game to complete this all to complete all the Xenoblade Chronicles game from Nintendo on the Nintendo Switch. So if you want to play all the Nint Xenoblade Chronicles games get yourself the nintendo switch and you can play all of them it's great this is coming pretty clutch because the next console for nintendo is probably coming out in 2025 as well so we'll see how that goes that being said let me know if you're interested in this game if you're planning on purchasing it in the comments down below but with that that will be all